And welcome back to Daily Wrap. Let's check in with the Lord of the Manor, Steve Malsberg, and see what he has planned for tonight. Steve A. Joe, Roger Stone will be here to talk about Donald Trump signing the pledge not to run as a third-party candidate. Alan Dershowitz will be here to weigh in on the Iran deal. He actually says a filibuster in the Senate would be a good thing. That's the opposite of what Dick Cheney told us yesterday. And the woman, the clerk in Kentucky, who won't issue the gay marriage licenses or the marriage licenses to gay couples, is now in jail. All that's coming up right after the Daily Wrap, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on Newsmax Television. It's a really serious proposition because the, in those senior positions in the government, as vice president, the secretary of state, secretary of defense, they deal all the time with highly, highly classified information. And um, the notion that somehow you've got a server out there someplace that's not even in a secure environment, then uh, the possibility of, of shipping classified material in the form of emails is um, very, very serious. In the government, we take that that kind of problem very, very seriously, and she has to, too. And that, of course, was Vice President Dick Cheney with our own Steve Malzberg yesterday. According to the Washington Post, Hillary Clinton has even more email problems. Brian Pagliano, I believe he played third base for the Yankees at one point, a former State Department employee who worked, that was Pagliarulo, yes, who was. worked on Mrs. Clinton's private email server, tried to beat back a subpoena this week from the House Benghazi panel with his lawyer saying that he would invoke his Fifth Amendment rights to avoid incriminating himself. No word on whether Lois Lerner will be hired as Mr. Pagliano's Fifth Amendment tutor. Pagliano had worked on Clinton's 2008 presidential campaign before setting up the server in her New York home in 2009. Benghazi Committee Chairman Trey Gowdy had subpoenaed Pagliano to appear at the Benghazi hearing. Rick, are you surprised that someone so close to the service is keeping his mouth shut? You know, this is always so tough when you get into these taking the fifth conversations. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, to a lawyer like me, I hear that and I go, well, yeah, of course, because that's what I would advise virtually any client appearing before Congress in an investigation. And to hearing. a layman like me, I say you're you, trying to hide something. Exactly. Mm -hmm. To the average person, they hear Fifth Amendment, that means you don't want to tell the truth about something. Mm -hmm. So this is the problem. You know, we, there's a reason the Fifth Fifth Amendment is in the Constitution. It does not immediately infer guilt. In this case, I suspect this young guy who really could not have been all that involved in any, he couldn't have been involved in the crimes. All he could do was set up a computer. He worked on our campaign in 2008. But he's, but an, IT he's an IT guy. I get he's, it. Not he's not dealing with, you know, well, sending so he our... should have nothing to hide then. Well, he, he probably doesn't. Talk. That's my point. You mm -hmm. know, he wasn't involved with anything involving classified data. He set up computers. So, but yet the minute he takes the fifth, there's going to be problems with it, okay. mm -hmm. which is why the Clinton campaign, by the way, did not want him to take the fifth. Right. Which is the chairman of the Ready for Biden that. campaign. Ready for Biden. Right. right. Now, I, I know Biden you're liberal, all right, but at the same time, it's a, to Rick's point, all right, yeah. yes, he has every right to his Fifth Amendment rights. That, that's, yeah. that's very clear. But optics has always been exactly. Hillary Clinton's problem from day one that's on it. this and how she responds to things. Yep. And so here, I think that takes precedent in the court of public opinion, mm -hmm. not so much the court of, you know, where, where lawyers remember. like Rick are. Yeah. Go ahead. She has no control over him. Go ahead, right. Naomi. I think she has a little control. No, I don't think she does. You don't think she, no. somebody got a hold of him and Who said, Who are you yeah. going to listen to, your ex-employer or your lawyer? Mm -hmm. I'm going to listen to both, probably. You're not going to listen to your ex-employer. We don't care about your ex-employer. I worked on her campaign. I'm in her home. I'm in basements. I'm setting up you're servers. Be She's offering up women. It's not just you're in a courtroom. You're sitting before Trey Gowdy and a bunch of yeah. ambitious, ruthless politicians are going to be asking you questions as somebody who's not. These, these IT guys, I mean, even though he was the State Department IT person and worked on her campaign, he's not a politician. He's not Cheryl Mills. Now, Cheryl Mills, if she's the one who pleads the fifth, then that's when you have to sit yeah, there and say, fair. that's different. That's fair. Well, well look, it's a will. federal yeah. crime to aid or abet another person's crime, which might be something that he's concerned about, whether or not he actually did, yeah. whether it's not, there whether or not it's reasonable. Clearly, clearly he's invoking his fifth amendment because he doesn't want to get in that, you know, th that, that whole mess. But it doesn't mean that he can't be ha uh, uh, hauled in front of the committee and asked these questions. And right. each time he will say, mm -hmm. I invoke the fifth, well, I invoke let me set something straight the there. And let me tell you that it's going to be the worst political optics for Hillary Clinton yes. to see this young guy refusing to answer over and over yeah, there's, and over. There's, we got to be careful not to mislead. There is no federal crime against setting up a, a, a computer right, for but somebody. It is, it is, it no matter how they use it. Here, here, it let me, let me tell you exactly how every news organization will, it, like Amy's saying, 
I, I take, how do, how do you normally say this? You say, I, I, I refuse I am, to answer on the grounds of a my fifth amendment. Right, right. Yeah. And then they play it over and over again. And you know how it's going to no, be cut with gonna, every media yeah. organization. It, you over? Know, say it, right. say over. it, say it. I'm like, not see, arguing with any months. of you about, about the day. optics of it. No argument. Yep. You're all right. Uh, but it's, it isn't right. She's, no, I agree. She's not going to make fair, it happen. Well, well the here's the is. thing. Uh, Congress could grant congressional immunity if two-thirds of the committee votes to give him immunity. Right. The question is, could Republicans get Democrats to get on board with that? They'd have to weigh him blabbing in the, in the committee hearing versus invoking the fifth. Which looks worse for Hillary? I'm not sure. Nomi, last word. Uh, I don't think that Hillary's going to be able to get over this. This is the news story every single day. As the hearings go on, she's done. And yet 80% approval among Democrats. Uh, because they, not believe, they see her as a vessel of power, not, not because they believe exactly. in her. Right? It, it, it it's the numbers in the primary states. Watch states. that jump. Anyway, share your thoughts on Hillary Clinton's email scandal by going to Newsmax.com, TV dot slash uh, comments. Yes, up next, Kentucky Clerk refusing to issue marriage licenses. We'll tell you all about it. Stay tuned.